Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Brie. I've been a little bit absent because I've just been like adjusting to a couple different life changes, some big life changes. Uh, first of all, I got another cat. I don't think she's here. I'll put some photos and videos and stuff. So you can see her, her name is Edith. Uh, we adopted her from a cat cafe. There's a cat cafe like two blocks from where we live. And we frequently bike past the cat cafe like after hours. And we always see these cats just like looking out the window. So we always park our bikes and like just go look at the cats for a little bit. And we've, we've been wanting another cat because our current cat Quincy seemed a little bit lonely. Um, so anyway, we adopted the cat. That's been really good. She's been adjusting so well. She adjusted super easily. My other cat is adjusting slowly to her, but they're totally fine. They're, um, they're mingling in the house and, you know, for the most part, everything's good. Um, the first few days though were like a little bit stressful. We kept them separated and I was really worried that my original cat was going to be pissed. He kind of was at first. He was like hissing a lot. Um, but we worked it out. We followed Jackson Galaxy's cat introduction guide. It does work. <laughs> uh, okay, so anyway, I adopted Edith. The second news is that I am now officially a full-time artist. I quit my second job. My second job, I was just working at two days a week and I was working at a zero-proof bar in Salt Lake City. Um, I really loved working there, but I just didn't really have the time for it anymore. And obviously being a full-time artist is my end goal. So pretty exciting about that. Yeah, I don't know. The first couple days I was like quite a bit anxious. So I wasn't really talking about it too much. You know, once I was like fully done on my other job, the realization was hitting me that I have to like fully fund my own lifestyle. And I don't know, I've always been kind of scared of like financial insecurity. Um, even though I have like a savings and everything, and I'm making enough money right now. I don't know, it's a little bit scary. Um, but this month I did have two markets already that I sold at, and I've already made enough money to cover like my minimum expenses for the month, like my rent and utilities and like my health insurance, all that kind of adult stuff. So I've covered like the minimum I need to not go broke, so that's good. And it's only halfway through the month, so anything else is just like savings or like extra business money for me, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it, especially because the next couple months are gonna be kind of entering the holiday season. So it shouldn't be hard to keep this full-time art thing going. Um, but since I am a full-time artist for the first time ever, please subscribe to this channel. Honestly, I'm really hoping that YouTube will like help me find a bigger audience, help me meet some more artists. YouTube is just such a fun platform compared to like Instagram. Instagram sucks these days. No offense if you like Instagram, but it's kind of just hard to put a lot of effort into Instagram and like see barely anything. So yeah, that's the second update. I quit my job full-time artist. This is just what I'm doing now, so I'll be able to record a lot more and make a lot more. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have so much more energy to actually make a lot of art. Because before I was working my art job like four days a week, and then my second job I was working two days a week, so I pretty much had like one day off to recharge. And even on the days where I was working at my second job, I would sometimes work on some art stuff and I was just getting like majorly burnt out. And I kind of hit the point where I realized like, I think if I quit this job, I could make up at least most of the funds selling art if I just had like a tiny bit more time during the month. The third update, God, so much has happened since my last vlog. Okay, the third life update is that I switched my studio in my bedroom in my house. So my boyfriend got a 3D printer and a CNC router 
and he wanted to have some more space to work on his hobbies, so we decided to just use the big bedroom as like our work and hobby space. So I have like a half of it, and then he has the other half with a couple desks. It's not a huge room, but it actually works really well for us. And then um, the small room is now our bedroom, which makes sense, makes so much more sense. Cause like we don't spend a lot of time in our bedroom and when we are in our bedroom, we're sleeping or playing video games. So it's almost better to have like the dark dungeony room be the video game sleeping room. I don't know why it took us so long to come up with this. We adopted my cat and then we let her get settled for a few days. And then we moved with the furniture in the rooms. So that was also extremely chaotic. That happened the same week that we adopted the cat and I quit my second job and became a full-time artist. And then a few days after that, I think I talked about this in a different clip, but um, some wildfire smoke came to Salt Lake City and I got like low key smoke poisoning, <laughs> if that's a thing. I just got like super sick. But yeah, so the smoke cleared out and I'm finally feeling good now. Um, the sky is actually like blue and not brown. So things are looking up. Things are definitely looking up. I have my cafe au lait with a lot of oat milk on top. Today, I think I'm gonna work on making a bunch of earrings. Okay, I have a bunch of stuff that I need to paint. Um, a bunch of earrings that I started. They're either like only just the clay with the fixture or they have like a tiny bit of paint, but I really like to work on these because I have a lot. I think these are gonna be really cute like an angry kitten. <laughs> Not that much exciting stuff happens in my life lately, but the last two weeks have been kind of wild. Um, I'm hoping for things to slow down a little bit. Also my sister and my brother-in-law and nephew, baby nephew are coming to visit at the end of the month. So that should be really fun. That'll be a good motivation for me in the coming weeks to just like get a ton done before the end of the month so I don't have to worry about work while they're here at all.
my hair is wet. We're just gonna ignore that. I desperately need a haircut. I'm getting like a crazy bowl cut thing going around. Um, I think I'm gonna teach myself how to cut my own hair. So maybe you'll see that in one of these videos. I'll probably record it in case anything goes wrong. This is where I'm working now. Um, it's also kind of dark. So I have like this side of the room, all my yarn. I'll give you a better tour at some point, but for now, this is what I have going. All right, so it is September 15th, Thursday. I didn't record any anything this week because I was sick. I got like really sick from the wildfire smoke that came to Salt Lake City. Um, the smoke just kind of gets trapped in the valley for a few days and I have really bad asthma. I thought it was like, I thought I actually had a virus or something, but it was definitely just the smoke because as soon as the smoke cleared up, I felt totally fine. Um, but I had like terrible asthma, so I was really tired all day. I was congested. Um, and the worst thing was that I had a horrible sore throat. So I was drinking like <laughs> so much tea, basically 24 seven I was drinking tea while I was awake at least. And yeah, yesterday I finally started feeling better, but I just took it easy and like worked on this a little bit throughout the day, but I didn't really feel like recording. But today I'm finally feeling better. I don't know, that was rough. I really hope it doesn't get bad again with the wildfire smoke. I literally got like poisoned. <laughs> so that's fun. Anyway, so I didn't record yesterday, but all I'm doing is just filling in these tigers I think I want to do a lilac one, a sage one. I know someone wanted a orange tiger this round too. I am out of your orange yarn, but I'll probably have to go to the store anyway to get some more yarn. So yeah, I guess we'll see what I end up doing. Um, so I've also been working on making a bunch of earrings. It's been very fun. I'll probably put some of that footage in here as well. I should show you my earring collection sometime. I just watched Sad Shrimp's earring collection part two. I was just there for the premiere. Um, one day I hope to have as many as her and then I can do my own tour. But I have been like making my own to sell. Oh, oops, I lost one. So I brought this to my last market and I have like a bunch of earrings. Right, time to work on these tigers. Um, if there's any colorways for a tiger that you really want, just let me know. All right, I'm gonna find a YouTube video or a podcast or something to watch while I work on this stuff. I feel like when I make these vlogs, I'm like really talkative because I'm just home alone for like nine hours. And I think my cats get sick of me talking to them because they probably don't know what the fuck I'm saying. And they probably get frustrated that they like can't tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> So now you just get to hear me. I'm already a patron of six artists and I still don't have enough content to watch now that I'm working from home. Like, I've watched pretty much every exclusive video, exclusive podcast for all of these patrons. Um, for all of these, for all these artists, I mean. If you're wondering, I'll actually tell you who I'm a patron of because I have it up right now. I was gonna see if there's anything new. There isn't. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm a patron of Cheyenne Barton, Natasha L, or Satrimps, Megan Wang, Studio Maggie, uh, Roddy Ramen, or Knives Me Out, Tiffany Tan, who is Apple Cheeks, and Lee Ellickson, who is Lee Ellickson. Um, yeah, so those are the six people I'm a patron for. The verbiage is kind of confusing for Patreon. Am I saying this right? Um, hopefully when I get a little bit more monthly income, I can have more memberships to more artists and then I won't have to deal with this content thing so much. But I've literally been re-watching One Piece from the very beginning because I just need something to listen to when I work. And let me tell you, I have watched One Piece and read One Piece already. 
Do I need to fucking watch it a second time? The longest fucking anime? No, but I'm going to because I love it. It is really fun. I am watching one pace as I work, so I don't have to like always skip through a bunch of shit. Um, so I'm going through it pretty fast because of one pace. Um, I started like yesterday and Zoro, Nami, and Usopp are all a part of the crew, so I feel like this is how I start my day normally, is I'm just like scrolling through YouTube looking for a video to watch. And then I'm gonna decide that there's not any new videos because I've watched all of these, and then I'll just go back to watching anime. Oh, well, actually Tiffany Wang has a new video I haven't watched. I really like watching her videos, um, especially when she works on like polymer, polymer clay stuff. I just think that her creations are very cute. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll probably watch this Tiffany Wang video first while I work on this. And then I'll probably watch One Piece, maybe like a Harry Potter movie. Fuck JK Rowling. Um, but I do like to rewatch those movies. Trying to make a thumbnail. Uh, why is making a thumbnail so hard on YouTube? I feel like I spend so much time and then it still looks like shit. I'm guessing it's just a skill that's gonna take a lot of time. Also, I got this chair from IKEA. It's new. I like it a lot. It's small, which is nice, so I can actually like roll around while working on rugs and it doesn't get in the way. Because I used to have like a big black chair, but that's actually my boyfriend's, so he took it back. Okay, so I've been waiting to open up this package. Um, it's from Megan Wang. I ordered one of her t-shirts. Uh, I didn't want to open it up off camera just because I really want to hype Megan up. Um, and this is like my first thing from Megan that isn't just a print or a sticker. Um, I haven't gotten one of her tote bags yet, so I don't know, the t-shirt's exciting. Um, Look at the t-shirt. I also got um, a little thing of stationery. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I should go put it on. Um, I saw that Radia cropped hers, which was super cute. Um, but since I got the oversized, I think I'm gonna leave it full length. Because I want it to kind of like cover my butt. That's why I got it in extra large. It's so cute, the onigiri. I'll tag Megan um, if you don't follow her. And then I also got some stationery. Oh, it came in the gl this glassine bag with her cute washi tape. So cute. 
Can I preserve the washi tape? Can I take it off without ripping it? Cute. Okay, I took it off. I'm just gonna like stick it on my drawer or something. I don't know. All right, I secured the washi tape. So now I have a little sample of her washi tape. <laughs> I like kind of forgot what I ordered to be honest, um, which is totally fine because that's honestly more fun. I got this notepad, the stationery. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God, so cute. Also, it kind of matches my cats now that I have a Siamese and I have a orange cat. So cute. So it's stationery, so you get like a bunch of them. Oh my God, adorable. Okay, and then I also got this print. So cute, the little switch. Oh my god, can't wait to hang this stuff up. And then I know that she just made these thank you cards with little pictures of Cosmo and Rover. Okay, anyway, that's all I got. I should probably go wash this t-shirt. Um, but I think I'm gonna go try it on and then wash it. Unfortunately, it is actually really gloomy in Salt Lake today. Um, like the one day I want to film. Actually, it's kind of like gloomy all week, which is so nice. It's been so fucking hot, but it's actually been like raining and feeling like fall, so I shouldn't complain, but sorry about the lighting. sage tigers. I just finished these two purples. Um, I'm using this sage color from Big Twist, which you can get at Charm Fabrics. Um, this color is really nice and it's quite cheap. You can just barely see my cat right there. She's looking at this yarn longingly. <laughs> She's gonna attack it for sure. I do have to lock my cats out sometimes. It's sad.
myself a decaf latte. I've been drinking so many of these. I just really love coffee, so being able to drink a latte at night is amazing. And yeah, I've just been working on trying to make a really good decaf espresso. Uh, this is just a latte with um, oat milk, oatly oat milk, and a little bit of maple syrup. I'm still deciding if I like the coffee bean or not. Um, if I do, I will recommend it. It's not even nighttime, it's like 5 p.m. right now, but I was just kind of craving one, but obviously I don't need the caffeine. I just have to finish that sage tiger, and then I'm done with the tigers, which is sick. And then I just have to do this other random shit, which will go by pretty fast. I can probably get that done tonight. Uh, don't mind this stain. Don't look at it. Um, it is from glue from tufting, so I feel like it's appropriate for me to wear these pants with a stain on it while I'm working. Um, I might as well just get them like more dirty, you know? Oh my god, okay, it's already like pretty much gone and I just made it. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. guys uh welcome to another work day it is friday today um i finished all the tigers yesterday i was gonna finish everything yesterday but i ended up kind of stopping work early to go to the gym because um, my boyfriend and a friend were going at a certain time so i stopped work to go to the gym i haven't really been uh going to the gym much so since i had an opportunity to go with friends. I took it. Um, yeah, so I climbed a little bit and just like lifted some weights, which was really nice. My body's been kind of feeling like I've been working a little bit too much in certain positions. So I'm working on having better posture while I'm like sitting at my chair and while I'm tufting. Um, but lifting weights just makes your whole body feel a lot better. So I feel good today, even though I'm a tiny bit sore. Today I need to just fill in the gaps. I just have like this little mushroom and no face and like some coasters, just cause I don't like wasting any of the fabric. And after all my coasters sold out at my last market, which I was surprised by. So I wanna make some more. Are like about to go at it right now. Look at this. Oh. Do you see them over there? Oh, okay. This cat is a freaking menace. Uh, so this is my cat Quincy. This cat I've had since 2017. And yeah, so we just got another cat last week. We're like two weeks ago now. Ah! <laughs> anyway, he's a little bit feisty because of the new cat. I mean, he's always really feisty. The other cat that I just adopted, 
Edith. She is the biggest sweetheart. Um, and I'm just trying to make sure she doesn't get too bothered by Quincy, so I try and like break it up anytime he bothers her too much. Quincy is like her little shadow. He fucking follows her around like a younger sibling or something, even though they're like the same age. Uh, Edith came from a cat cafe, so she's like really used to being around other cats. Meanwhile, my cat is used to being a spoiled only child. So it's been an adjustment, um, but it's going well. So I got my camera already to record and tell you that I'm all done with the frame. But then I had the idea that I want to make some candy corn coasters. So I'm just making like two of those to see how they turn out since I have a tiny bit of room at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I'm like really close to being done. Uh, and then once I'm done, I, I'm probably going to start editing this video that you're watching. The next step in this process is to glue this frame, but since I want to spend time in my studio for the rest of the day, I think it's only like 2.30 p.m. Uh, since I want to spend the rest of the day in here, I'm gonna work and then do the gluing tonight so that tonight I can just like open all the windows, shut the store, shut the door to my studio and let it air out. Um, it's like really stinky and probably toxic glue, so that's why I'm doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm like really close to being done. I really think that this mushroom, that mushroom is gonna be super cool. Except for this as well. I think this is gonna be kind of ugly, this little cactus. I think it's too dark. I should have done a lighter green. Um, now I know. Uh, yeah, and then I made some little pumpkin coasters. So this is the back side of the rugs. Um, I still need to flip it around and make it look pretty. This is just like all the stitching. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna just finish making these coasters. Also, I made this. This was supposed to be a carrot. It looked ugly and I just didn't want to finish it, so I stopped. And that's actually how I got the idea for the, the candy corn. So even though it didn't turn out, the carrot, uh, it actually worked out. Cause I got a good idea from it. All right, so here I am. See, I have a couple like spots down by the tiger's feet um, where I can just fit a couple more mini rugs. I don't like to waste much fabric, so I usually try and fill up most of these gaps. Today I am watching One Piece. Uh, I'm on Arlong Park right now, um, so they just picked up Sanji. Even though I've like read and watched this before, I did still cry when Sanji was leaving uh, Baratier. Like as he was leaving, and Zeph says bye to him. Oh god. Yeah, I teared up a little bit. That part is just like, oh, Especially now, no spoilers, I won't give any spoilers, but now that we know more about Sanji and his back story, it's just even more emotional. 